Why do the Royal Guards at Buckingham Palace sport those unique hats? Are they really made from bearskin? And why are they so tall? Millions of people across the world who were hooked on the Queen's elaborate funeral plans were once again fascinated by the famous Royal Guards' wardrobe choices. According to the Ministry of Defense, the Royal Guards are some of the oldest infantry regiments in the British Army. They were created by King Charles II in 1656, and they have since seen battle in various conflicts, including both world wars and Afghanistan. While there are quite a few hurdles to hop over first before you can even dream of donning the signature hat, the Royal Guards are still going strong and were an integral part to the late Queen Elizabeth II's recent funeral ceremonies. Despite being iconic across the world, the truth of these bearskin caps continues to encourage controversy, despite royal guards wearing them for centuries. The truth is, the fascinating origins of this intriguing choice in hat wear harken back to the heyday of the British Empire. The black bearskin cap formerly had a historical purpose in signifying prestige, and was worn by distinguished foot soldiers and guards. Surprisingly, the roots of these British black bearskin caps may be traced back to the Battle of Waterloo in 1815. This battle is often remembered as the bloody climactic battle of the Napoleonic Wars, in which Britain emerged victorious and Napoleon was eventually exiled. Even if they weren't a fan of his politics, the British certainly admired Napoleon's flair for fashion. Napoleon's Imperial Guard, composed of his most elite soldiers, donned black bearskin helmets to appear more formidable to their foes. Understand that these bearskin caps were originally 18 inches tall, designed to make charging soldiers look terrifying. The British later replicated this aesthetic for their own royal guards as a way of demonstrating their prestige and pride in their triumph, and the tradition stuck. However, the furry headgear was not the only thing the British borrowed. The royal gold bearskin hat chin straps are another borrowed element from the original bearskin caps. While they may appear amusing in the present day, some believe they serve a useful purpose in protecting the chin and determining exactly where an individual guard falls in the larger hierarchy of the royal guard. This is because individual regiments must wear this chain over the lip, while some wear it just above the chin. So where does Britain get the bearskin from? After all, black bears haven't called England home for quite some time. The solution is predictably controversial. The black fur required for these bearskin caps is imported from Canada, according to British Heritage. These black bearskin helmets aren't cheap, with one cold bear used to make one hat. Surprisingly, each one costs 650 pounds. That's somewhere in the mid 700s range in US dollars to produce. In 2021, The Independent reported that the Ministry of Defense spends hundreds of thousands of pounds every few years when they order a fresh round of bearskin hats. Many notable animal rights advocates have expressed outrage, and one petition to change the bearskin fur to a faux fur alternative from February 2022 even received a response from Parliament. The petition claimed, There is no excuse for the Ministry of Defense to continue to effectively fund the slaughter of bears for ceremonial headgear, since an indistinguishable alternative has been produced, which is waterproof and mimics real bear fur in appearance and performance. For over two decades now, Peter has been urging the MOD to swap to a faux alternative. According to National Interest, the British Army protests that the faux fur alternatives just aren't the same, because the synthetic oils and materials used to make them become too waterlogged and lose their signature shape when it rains. The Parliament responded to the faux fur petition in part, Currently, we have no plans to end the use of bearskins. Bear pelts that are used are the byproducts of a license called by the Canadian authorities to manage the wild bear population. Bears are never hunted to order for use by the MOD. Given how famously bad British weather is and how deeply entrenched the British monarchy is in traditions, it could be a long time before these black bearskin hats become vegan.